just in this direction. These researchers are searching for one of Australia's most feared creatures. So the best chance we'll have of seeing him um, is if we go from downwind and walk very slowly towards the direction of the strongest signal. Using a radio transmitter, they're getting close to an eastern brown snake named Bandit. Checking different angles until we figure out exactly where he is. And the strongest signal right now is actually coming from inside this log. The perfect place to hide on a 30 degree day. Bandit is being closely monitored as part of the Canberra Snake Tracking Project, investigating the effects translocation is having on snakes caught in urban areas. We like monitoring to see what their body condition looks like in the field. Um, so to sort of see what they're doing is one thing and sort of mapping that, but also to see you know, how well or unwell they're looking. The impact on the snakes after they are released has been unknown until now. Is this strategy of moving snakes really working? Is it serving the interests of the animal or is it just serving the interests of the homeowner? We assume that they can adapt very quickly and they're resilient and they can make use of anywhere, but what we're really finding is that's not the case. Two of the snakes that have been tracked are Titan and Kawase. Titan was caught in the Canberra suburb of McGregor and was moved into the Ginninderry Conservation Corridor. Over the course of 100 days, he travelled about five kilometres through a new suburb development all the way back to where he was originally captured. For resident snake Kawase, researchers found he barely moved from his home area. These snakes that are trying to figure out how to get home you know, they're, they're moving around a lot more on the surface than they normally would. Um, and this exposes them to risks like predators, foxes, eagles. Sometimes they'll cross roads, so vehicles, people. And the researchers are finding the translocated snakes are losing body weight and becoming sick. That's pretty sad to see this decline of what was a, a really healthy snake originally. As Canberra and other Australian cities expand ever outwards, there will be more and more snakes coming into conflict with humans. The researchers hope the findings of this project result in a better understanding across the country of how important snakes are to the ecosystem. It's about trying to tell the snake story and from their perspective, about you know, them losing their homes to our homes and how we can make a bit more room for these guys in our lives. And it can be done. They deserve our respect, and not necessarily our fear. And I think we can reduce the fear by learning more about them. Uncovering the secrets of a misunderstood creature. Monty Boval, ABC News, Canberra.